Now, Mali's military junta has strongly condemned West African bloc sanctions in response to delays to a return to civilian rule in the country. Leaders of the Western African regional bloc, ECOWAS, imposed sanctions on Mali after the government announced a long delay to the elections originally planned for February. Justin Bamouni brings us up to speed on the development in Mali. It all started when elements of the Malian armed forces began a mutiny on the 18th of August 2020. Soldiers on pickup trucks stormed the Soundiata military base in the town of Kati, where gunfire was exchanged before weapons were distributed from the armory and senior officers arrested. The soldiers detained several government officials, including President Ibrahim Babaka Keita, who resigned and dissolved the government subsequently. Five corners appeared, led by Colonel Asimi Goita, calling themselves the National Committee for the Salvation of the People. External pressures started mounting, especially from the region's bloc ECOWAS, which placed sanctions on the country. Asimi Goita subsequently promised to restore civilian rule in February 2022. ECOWAS insisted that Mali hold elections in February. But the government then said it would only set an election date after holding a nationwide conference. On December 30, after Mali's reform conference ended, the government suggested a transition period of between six months and five years, starting from January 1, 2022. ECOWAS responded to Goita's first coup in 2020 by shuttering Mali's borders, imposing trade restrictions and suspending the country from its decision-making bodies. And now, the West Africa's main regional bloc has, after an extraordinary summit, announced it will close borders with Mali and impose sweeping economic sanctions in response to delays holding promised elections after a 2020 military coup. This was in response to a proposal from Mali's transitional authorities to hold elections in December 2025 instead of next month, as originally agreed. And swiftly in turn, Mali's military regime has strongly condemned these sanctions, including border closures and the trade embargo, saying regional leaders were allowing themselves to be exploited by foreign powers. The junta has now announced the recall of its ambassadors and the closure of its borders in a tit-for-tat move. Justin Bemuni, NTA News.